Sing about me, I'm dying of thirst versus Silent Hill. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most sour show on the internet. My name is Riley Zoza, I'm joined by my tricky co-host, Graydon. What the heck? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Today we are crowning the best Kendrick Lamar song of all time. This is our Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar song bracket. It's March Madness style bracket, 64 Kendrick songs, only one can win. Drop your favorite Kendrick Lamar song down in the comments right now and root for it as we go. Woo, go song! And also let us know what bracket we should do next. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Consider joining our Patreon. It's the best way you can support us. You get extra content. It's only $5 a month. And also get a cameo from us. Get a special message. Get us to say whatever you want us to say. And we have a live show this week on Saturday, June 4th in Detroit, Michigan. If you're anywhere near Detroit, please pop out. The lineup is on the screen. We've also got Nick Is Not Green joining us us for the show on stage, a live episode of Hive Mind. It's gonna be insane. All right, let's do this. Come on, baby. All right, this is the bracket. These are the songs. In the first round, we're gonna hear a small clip of each song to refresh our memory, and then mm -hmm. it, just play it out from there. Second yeah. round, we won't hear clips. First matchup. All right versus Opposites Attract. All right, obviously off to Pimp Butterfly, one mm -hmm. of Kendrick's biggest hits of all time, the rallying cry for the Black Lives Matter movement yes. as well. And then Opposites Attract off of Overly Dedicated. Yeah. And a very old Kendrick Lamar mixtape. An ancient relic. Mm -hmm. Music from the past. But if God got us, then we go be all right. Pharrell hook. Cold. Ph Pharrell production. Yeah, sax all over it. Amazing music video. Yeah. A lot going for that song. A one seed. Mm -hmm. I sense. I sense this is a one seed. Mm -hmm. These are exactly the reasons why I cheat on you sometimes. Great tune though, too. Yeah. I really like the, the sentiment of that song. Yeah. It, it kind of honestly is akin to the sentiment of Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Yeah. I was going to say it's nice that you can see. You're gonna, we're going to see this a lot in this bracket. It's yeah. like this through line of jazz and like similar philosophies that can Kendrick's been hammering home for like greater part of a decade. Yeah, I was just, I went back into his old discography and was surprised by how good he's been for how long. Yes. I thought I was going to mm -hmm. be like, oh, th this isn't as good, but there's not many duds in his discography. No, but I think all right walks here. Obviously, obviously. yeah. Hey, the whole left side of my body is going numb. Is that normal? Eh, either way, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got Untitled 7 versus We Cry Together. I think my choice might surprise you here, but... Levitate, levitate, levitate. Shut your fucking mouth and get some cash, you bitch. One of the better Untitled, for sure. Yeah, it's 2 and 7 for me are the best. Levitate, levitate, levitate. Got me fucked up today. Ah, uh -huh, you mad little feelings is shot. Go text that raggedy bitch. I don't know. For me, it's We Cry Together. For me, it's seven. Really? Yeah. Okay, and if you're unfamiliar with how we do brackets, we do have a tiebreaker, and it is DJ Grant, who is sitting off screen right behind the camera. Yes. I think I'm gonna go with We Cry Together. Tie is broken. I lose. That's all right, I'm not salty. <laughs> Next we got Rigor Mortis versus Lust. All right, I know we just had a tie, but this one's hard for me to even decide. One of the best performances on Section 80 for yeah. sure. Does that loop too is crazy. Way too hot to sit my down. Might as well overheat. Yeah, I never mind. It's Lust. <laughs> is Lust for you? Yeah, it's just way it's just better. Like it just sounds better. I, I think it's Rigor Mortis only because I, from a production standpoint, Lust is much better. I love that beat. I love most of that song. Mm -hmm. Just like certain tonalities in Kendrick's voice on that song, I can't listen to. See, you, me, and you couldn't be more oppositely aligned yeah. with that because when that's like I feel like an introduction to some of those singing tones. Yeah. Like I, you get stuff on Damn where you're like, oh, I've never heard him sing like this. Yeah. And I loved it off rip and I've never had a problem with it. But I'm just talking about, I respect the cat. Like, See, I love that. Ugh, like I hate, it like makes my skin crawl. Oh, I, love I don't it. like when he does that. All right, it's lust for me. Grant, where are you going, buddy? Mm, I think you're gonna take Rigor Mortis. Oh my God, can I catch a break? <laughs> uh, I'm not happy about that. You love Damn though. And that's yeah, gonna I'm gonna be... vote for every Damn song, honestly. Yeah. Now we got Poe Man's Dream. His vice versus Father Time. All my instincts, my hands dirty. You worry about mud in your sink. You like to mistake a street nigga. One of the chiller songs on yeah. Section 80. Kind of. This is something that I've noticed about Section 80 in general. Is that as I went back and listened to it, I feel like Logic took so much inspiration from Kendrick's Section 80 era. I know people say Under Pressure sounds like Good Kid, Mad City, and it does. But I feel like his 
style of rapping from the beginning has, was so inspired by Kendrick Section 80. Yeah, I can believe it. Can we agree here? Father time? Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. For sure. <laughs> Sunday morning, wake up! <laughs> yeah, you hate the song. I do hate feature. the Samba feature, but it's a better song. Yeah. And Samba is growing on me a little bit. That's good. Like, the more I listen to that track, like, I don't know. It's, I'm getting used to it, I guess, but he just comes on so... Sunday morning, wake up! <laughs> Next, we got DNA versus Keisha's song. Two very different songs. Royalty got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece got my hot take for damn is that DNA is just all right. You've just heard it too much. I don't know. It's whatever to me. I feel a kind of similar way, but I think it's mostly due to just like oversaturation. Fancy girls on fancy cars. Dusty ass feature. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I find really interesting about Keisha's song is there's these ad libs on it that almost sound like Travis Scott ad libs. Yeah. But it's like pre Travis Scott. It's mm. 2011. Hey, massively influential. Uh, really good storytelling on that song. Yes. I think DNA is probably better, I guess. I'm going to play it more. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's an in incredible feat of yeah. like, rapping ability for sure. It's just I don't like listening to DNA that that's much. That's fair. But I also don't go back to Keisha's songs. So. Never. Mama versus Count Me Out. Life was for your reaction. Now I can live in this stadium pack it the fastest. What a lush beat. Yeah. There is not a weak point on To Pimp a Butterfly. No. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fucking it up. How you gonna wear my shorts when the last run? All right, for me, this is Mama. Yeah, this is so tough. I think it's Count Me Out. I, Cause Count Me Out is one of my favorites on Mr. Morale and Mama just kind of like falls into the background for me on To Pimp a Butterfly. I know it's a lot of people's favorite on To yeah. Pimp a Butterfly too, but maybe it's just cause it's fresher. I yeah. could go either way on this one. I'm, I'm like, it doesn't matter to me. I think Mama's just more like, I don't know, I feel like his emotion is just tighter in there and like the sentiment of Count Me Out is fine, but yeah. it is kind of just like, especially in the scope of Mr. Morale, it feels like one of the less serious songs. Yeah, that's true. Love when they count me out. I'm picking Count Me Out, he's picking Mama, so. Uh, okay. You fucking motherfucker. Don't it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter to me either. It's all good. Whatever you think, Grant. Go ahead, Grant. I'm gonna go with Mama. All right. You made a smart choice. <laughs> Next we got XXX versus Spiteful Chant. Yes. So for people who don't know, Spiteful Chant is, I believe, a bonus track off of Section 80? Mm -hmm. With, yeah, it's not on Spotify. Schoolboy Q's School on Q, it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Chip a nigga a little bit of nothing. I chip a nigga a little bit of nothing. Oh my god. Damn is so good, man. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Well, that is my, that's probably my favorite song on Damn, though. Yeah. It's a really good one. <laughs> I like that song, but it's not close here. Yeah, it's not close. It's a great School by Q feature, too. We've got For Sale interlude versus Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. This is another really tough matchup. This is tough. Yeah. Because I want you. I am a singer. Who's probably gonna sing again? Sometimes, Sometimes I need to be alone. You know what's crazy? The original version of that song features Lady Gaga. Oh yeah, I remember that. Singing the hook. Yeah. And it sounds so, you can find it on YouTube. For people who don't know that, look that up on YouTube. Lady Gaga, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. It sounds very unnatural. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he went with the version that he went with, but yeah. it's just such a funny historical thing. Mm -hmm. Like Lady Gaga was almost on Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. That would have changed so many parties for me. Yes. <laughs> you know? And now I'm just stuck listening to A Star Is Born. Romance. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My bad romance. Nice, Riley. One more time. My bad romance. Bang. Um, I'm going to bitch do not kill my vibe. Yeah. I think it's very slight though. Cause sure. the, yeah, like for sale interlude is so crazy. Mm -hmm. Bitch don't kill my vibe is just a better song. That's yeah. a Kendrick class. Yeah. No, of it's course it is. Class. But it, I feel like the other stuff, I feel like the other songs on Good Kid Mad City have aged better than Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. That's fair. All right, next we've got Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst versus Silent Hill. I mean, I know what has to win here, but at the same time, I really didn't want to see one of these songs leave first round. Yeah, I didn't either. I mean, one of these is my front runner to go all the way. My main concern, promise that you will. I mean, there's just so much there. That is like when I got to that song on that record is when I knew I was going to be like a lifelong fan. Yeah. That one was the first one to like pierce through my 
It made like a stain on my brain. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, All wait. them lyrics made me go insane. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I went crazy since I heard Sing About Me. I ain't been the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You just a lame <laughs> playing dumb games. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, this one blew my mind like Cobain. <laughs> Almost blew my line like cocaine. <laughs> Just a little one to keep the video going. <laughs> His nose dancing down the line like Soul Train. cocaine mid-episode to keep me even. <laughs> hey oh, get it Riley. <laughs> Let's hear the second song of okay. this matchup. <laughs> yep. Push these niggas off me like who? Push these bitches off me like who? Push these niggas off me like who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, what a great song. It's singing about me, I'm dying of thirst. It is. It is, man, that sucks. Silent Hill. I know. Silent Hill is such a good song. Yes. <sighs> it's just so fun. All right, next we got Fuck Your Ethnicity versus Hood Politics. This isn't getting any easier. No, this is gonna be a tough bracket. Let's yeah. go. I don't give a fuck if you black, white, Asian, Hispanic, This is probably my favorite on Section 80. You said that about the other Section 80 song. No, I, th I said that it was the best performance on Section 80. No thoughts, boss. <laughs> Let's hear that next song. <laughs> I've been A1 since day one, you niggas boo boo. Your own boy, you black. <sighs> Oh, man, I don't know. I it's hood politics. It is. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It's close for me a little yeah. bit, but hood politics is incredible. It's like a sixty-two to fifty-five. Yeah. Poetic justice versus for free. Oh no. Your big ass in that sundress. Woo! <laughs> God damn. Bag of chips, Grant. No, just, no, just, no, just, no, just what you I don't know if we're gonna get another Drake Kendrick song. I kind of feel like that. Yeah, probably. And so this one's like an odd part of history. This is like when the Romans entered Egypt. Sure. And yeah. you have like a crossover of artifacts. Yeah. You're like, what the hell? How'd this sword get in the desert? It's like, how'd Drake get on a Kendrick song? It's only getting weirder with time. Yeah. This dick ain't free. You looking at me like it ain't a receipt, like I never made ends meet. I know what I just said about poetic justice, but I'm, I, it's for free for me. It's a straight jazz performance. <sighs> And he's like, hey, man, hey, oh, these cats are swinging. This penis is not for free. I can't say dick on YouTube, right? You can say dick. This schmeckle is not for free. Hey. Yeah, he's he's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, though. Uh, yeah, it's for free. But Nice. Poetic justice is just more fun to listen to. But for sure. For free is just impressive. Yep. We've got, this is insane. We've yeah. got the black or the berry versus hole up. Hole up's my favorite off section 80. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say that. It actually is mine, I think. I'm the biggest hypocrite in 2015. Once I finish this, witnesses will come. I mean, this song, different level. So for Gemini screaming for help, somebody hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys might be upset with me, but I might have to make the tie here. I'm going with hold up. Really? Yeah. Black or the Berry is like my oh, I know. top five all time for me. Okay. For sure. No, well, force a tie, and you can't like. You can't resent me for my own opinions. No, I won't. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, I just think the production on Black of the Berry 2, just how hard it hits, mm -hmm. like while being so potent and like, just one of those perfect crossovers of Kendrick substance and Kendrick listenability, you know? You're not gonna convince me here. Though. I know, I was just I was just telling the audience, you know? Audience? Grant? This is probably harder than tiebreakers for any other bracket we could do. I'm gonna go with Black of the Berry on this one. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. All right, now we got Duckworth versus Savior. Probably my least favorite song off Dan. Duckworth is? Yeah. Oh I mean, my. that's my favorite album though, so obviously I like it, but I think that is my least favorite. Whoa, this is top three on Damn for me. Yeah. This is my third favorite. This is gonna, this whole, I mean, I have this feeling already, but like after this video, there's gonna be a massive rift in our relationship. Oh. It's probably gonna be, you know, unmendable. Unmendable? Not mendable. Really? <laughs> Not gonna be able to mend it. Not gonna be able to mend it. Not gonna be able to mend it. Huh? <laughs> we got a rift in our friendship. Not gonna be able to mend it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we got a rift in our friendship. Not gonna be able to mend it. Never gonna be the same. Had a couple of shooters, caught a murder case. Fingerprints on the gun, they assume it, but we- Great song. I think this is Kendrick's most concise and understandable storytelling song of all time. Yeah. The first time I listened to it, I knew what happened. Yeah, this and in he, like Mad he, City. He usually will take it to like so many different directions where he'll be talking about implications and stuff. This is like a straight through line story about Kendrick Lamar's father 
and top meeting all those years ago yeah. and <clears> like <throat> almost having br- they had, like both having brushes with death or jail time that would have prevented Kendrick from having his career and then 20 years later being in the studio together because Kendrick's like it's just crazy it is it's mind blowing stuff wait a minute ben aquí, ben aquí. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. I tell the whole truth from A to Z love this song love this song but Duckworth walks all over it yeah for sure with its little duck feet <laughs> I love when you do that little dirty duck impression. Yeah. Don't stop now. You're getting me there. Tell me more, you dirty little duck. You want some of this stale bread from my kitchen? I don't even know what's happening in this video. (laughs) Any Kendrick fan who's watching this is going to be like, who doesn't know who we are, is going to be like, what is going on with these guys? Did they just do a sexual duck talk? <laughs> they just did like a dirty duck joke? Is that what happened? <laughs> you dirty little duck. What this really proves is freaks like us can be Kendrick fans too. Yeah, we're just like you. Backseat freestyle versus complexion. Complexion. Break my dick, get big as the Eiffel Tower, so I can fuck the world for 72 hours. God damn, I feel amazing. My mind is living on clock nine and never on vacation. Complexion. Here I go pissing people off. It's complexion for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's backseat freestyle for me easily. Complexion is great. It's kind of middle of the road on to Pimple Butterfly for me, which is my favorite Kendrick album. It's probably like number two for me. Yeah. I mean, it's right up your alley. Yeah. It's just so smooth. The Rhapsody mm. verse is insane. Yeah. But backseat freestyle is like, you know how many memories I have with that song? I don't remember shit, so. For your own good, too. You should let go of the past. There's <laughs> a lot of dark stuff back yeah. there. Grant, you want to break this tie? Yeah, it's handedly backseat freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll choke slam both of you. Now we got <clears throat> Mad City versus the Heart Part Four. Well. Wow. <laughs> oh my! Ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> that song will really. Jerry status up for hip hop rhyme savior. Travel around the Atlas in a spaceship, candy coated my day shift. Been my favorite of the Heart series. Yeah, probably. It's like a sampler platter, but it's not the whole entree. And Mad City is like a delicious 44 ounce T-bone steak. Absolutely. <laughs> well done. We've got Shireen, aka Master Splinter's daughter, versus these walls. Regardless what fuck us the trife in us, it's deep rooted the music of being young and dumb. It's never me. banger. I have such a soft spot for that song just because it's the intro to Good Kid, Mad City, yeah. and it's such good storytelling. Mm-hmm. I kind of like regret sometimes skipping this back in the day. Yeah, for sure. You know, cause it just has a lot of like skit stuff in it. But. Mm-hmm. Gold lives inside of you. Really like a banger. Yeah. It's These Walls easy for It's me. These Walls for me as well. Two great songs though. If These Walls could talk, they'd say, hey, I'm yellow. There we go. We are done with one whole side of the bracket. Let's get on to the other side. Going to the east. Starting with two very similar songs, Money Trees and Mother I Sober. Money Trees is the perfect place for shade and that's just how I feel. Nah. Wanna know my favorite part of that song? What? Kendrick's ad lib, my Tony head. <laughs> he yeah. says, in my uncle Tony head, my Tony head. Yeah. This is Tony head. <laughs> Mother's mother followed me for years in her afterlife, staring at me on back of some buses. I believe Kendrick's most serious song ever. One of them, yeah. It just feels so serious yeah. when you, it's heavy when you hear it. Yep. It's Money Trees. Though. It's Money Trees. It feels so weird to pick. It's just, wow, what a serious <laughs> Heartfelt money trees. Yeah. <laughs> like Be the last one out to get this dough. No way. Not one of your bucket headed hoes. No way. Hit the streets. Then we break the code. No way. Ain't no turkey. Y'all niggas give it. All right. We got Mortal Man versus N95. Oh. Another one. Very different songs here. Two high paced offenses, though. Nigga, let me ask this question. Was she in the fan? Is you still a fan? I've always been a fan of when shit hits the fan. Has shit ever physically hit the oh, yeah. fan? Is that kind of the... You went to... You saw my dorm in college, right? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> take off the far flat, take off perception, take off the cop with the iPad, take off the unlaw, take off the unsure. It's N95 for me. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mortal Man is incredible. I know there's the Tupac interview. Yeah. It's the... It's like... Yeah, but N95 is more fun to listen to. It me. is. It's a better song. Grant hates N95 and he's pissed at us, I but- I do hate N95. I know you do. Next, we got Good Kid versus How Much a Dollar Cost. Ugh. Oh shit, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm gonna have to hear him. The Good Kid, Mad City. Mass hallucination, baby. 
I will say that was like my favorite off Good Kid, Mad City when I first listened to it mm -hmm. because I was just getting into Kendrick and I yeah. just thought it was such like a unique soundscape. But I don't think it's aged as well as the stu other stuff on that album. Yeah, I don't know. That whole record's timeless to me. Yeah. Nothing less, nothing more. I told him I didn't have it, then close my door. Tell me how much a dollar cost. Oh, to save is that James Fauntleroy? It is. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he's very good. Yes, he is. This one is the toughest for me so far, I think. I really like equally like these songs. If I got to throw my hat in the ring here, which I do, that's yeah. what I'm here to do. Uh -huh. um, it's how much a dollar cost. I think so too. I'm okay. going to go with how much a dollar cost. It's very close yeah, for me is. because Good Kid is awesome, mm. but how much a dollar cost is like expert songwriting, yeah. like beautiful. Yeah. No one else can make a song like that. And I made a song just like Good Kid. You did? Yeah. A day before Kendrick released his really? one day before. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Um, <laughs> it sounds it sounds like a cover, honestly. Really, we're not getting into it though. All right, we've got humble versus ignorance is bliss. Uh. I remember syrup sandwiches and crumb allowances for this. Humble, I mean, smash hit. Better pray that the chopper jam like a radio single man. Police radio signal saying that. I like this one more than the other over yeah. the dedicated song, but it's humble. Yeah, it's I mean, no humble. It almost has like the clips, claps in it too. Yeah, it does. Which we see back in Mr. Morale too. I was gonna say he has a lot of Pusha T influence on yeah. that song in general. Humble has a lot of Jimmy Wapo influence. Yeah, so. it does. R.I.P. Jimmy Wapo. Facts. I versus Ronald Reagan era. Ooh. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto God, I have such a vivid memory of that coming out as the first single for To Pimp a Butterfly. And being like... And people being like, this sucks. Yeah, I remember it being received really poorly by at least the people around me. I love it, though. Oh, I've grown to love it a lot. It's like an outcast, Pharrell, crazy. I don't even know. I love the live version ended up on the record, but the single version I go back to is to this day. I yeah. think it's an amazing song. Mm -hmm. I think if Kendrick was in a different space in his career, that would have been a radio like number one hit, you yeah. know? Granny said when I'm old enough, I'll be sure to be all I can be. You niggas Marcus can be. Favorite song off Section 80? <laughs> it's my favorite Marcus Camby reference he makes on Section 80. Yeah. That's, that dude could get boards. Really good at defense, too. Yeah. Didn't need to score to have an impact on the court. You gotta respect a guy like that. Clean up. Clean them up, clean them up, clean them up, Marcus. All right, now we got Element versus Cartoons and Serial. <sighs> Cartoons and Serial, one of the only unreleased Kendrick songs that is very, very popular. Yes. I don't think it ever got officially released by Kendrick, uh -huh. but it's the one with the gunplay feature. Mm -hmm. It's from early in his career. Gotta slap a pussy ass nigga, I'm gonna make it look sexy. You can't take me on my element. Nah. Yeah, I love it. And I run it. Cartoons and Serial is nothing but a display of potential for Kendrick. Right. I mean, it's fine. I, people love it. Like Kendrick yeah. fans say it's the best unreleased Kendrick that there is, but sure. it's nothing compared to Element. Yeah. All right, Worldwide Steppers versus Wesley's Theory. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a killer, he's a killer, she's a killer, bitch. We some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. I said this is my favorite off Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers from a concept execution standpoint. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite to listen to, but my favorite mm -hmm. best song he made on that record, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you there. I just wanna fight. Like a G-Funk banger. I mean, that's my favorite off the Pimp Butterfly. <sighs> yeah, I like it more than Worldwide Steppers. Oh yeah, same here. Okay. Yeah, Wesley's Theory wins handily here for me. All right. You Ain't Gotta Lie versus Untitled 2. That's my favorite Untitled, so let's see. You ain't gotta lie to kick it, my, 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 my. You ain't gotta lie, you ain't gotta lie. See, does his voice bother you on that track? A little bit. <laughs> Just slightly. God. See, I love it. It's so smooth when he does that. I like it on smooth songs more than I like it on ones where it feels like it's like a, a slinky sort of beat where he's like, ha, ha. Yeah. Like, I don't like when he does that, Fair. basically. Get God on the phone. Said it won't be long. I see jiggaboo. I see styrofoam. That song blew me away when I first heard yeah. it. Yeah. But it's You Ain't Gotta Lie. This one's close for me. I'm going to go with You Ain't Gotta Lie because Untitled 2 is so long. Yeah, it is really long. It like isn't just that part. There's yeah. like a lot to it. It's a great, great song though. That might be my favorite song we've eliminated yet. All right, here we go. ADHD versus Mr. Morale. Ooh. Eight doobies to the face. Fuck God. Twelve bottles in the case, nigga. Fuck God. Easily my favorite off Section 80. 
<laughs> he not your father should detach my call in this right on time transformation i must have a thousand lives an insane track kind of like pharrell's take on yeezus yeah that's what mr morale sounds like to i can me, hear that you know it's mr morale i think it's adhd really yeah mr morale is like fine but it's definitely bottom half of the album for me. It's the beat for me. It's an insane beat. ADHD is better, I think. Grant, would you like to weigh in on this? It's easily ADHD. Okay. It's not even close. All right, chill out. Grant has a lot of emotion building up in his responses. At the beginning of the bracket, it was like, this is the answer. And now he's like, easily, yeah. you morons. <laughs> Pulling his hair out of his yeah. head. <laughs> God, I hate this matchup so much. This is the hardest one so far for me, easily. We've got... Institutionalized versus the art of peer pressure. That song makes me want cigarettes. God, that is the sleeper hit on Tupuba Butterfly. You got the Snoop Dogg verse that Kendrick wrote. Stashed it in the mosey wosey. Like, <laughs> oh, it's so good. That is the one that I play first. And yeah. I'm just playing one song off of Tupuba Butterfly. Go quick and then we laugh about it. That's ironic because I've never been violent until I'm with the homies. Just riding. That's like my favorite story, arguably, that he's ever told. Yeah. I remember like, viscerally hearing that one and being like there. I think that is the heart of Good Kid Yeah, Mad for City. sure. It is like when people say it's cinematic yeah. and they talk about it being a movie, that is the song that comes to mind for me. I can see me. the van opening and like I can see everything. It's all in this dark street light. The sirens, lit. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, oh God. That one wins for me. Art of Peer Pressure wins. But these fill the same void for me. Kind of. They're kind of like the heart of their respective albums in a certain way. Fair. That's my favorite song that we've eliminated, for sure. You versus Love. Weird matchup. Love you is complicated. Love you is complicated. Love you is complicated. See, now that's a voice that does rubs me the wrong way. Oh, really? Wait, that's right, ass. Yeah, but it, this one, it's supposed to be like unhinged in that yeah. way for the sake of the story. Yeah. But just, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. tone wise, it doesn't really rub my rocks. I want to be with you. I fuck with that song. That's like a wedding song for me. I don't really like love very much. Just to love me. It just feels so not Kendrick, you know? But it's a great love song. Like it, whether it's it, true to whatever, he wrote an amazing <laughs> love song. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. That's what it is to you. It's just yeah. fine. Yeah, it is. Mm. It's just fine. Yeah. This is clearly you for me. But not even close for me. It's love. I agree with Riley. You have agreed with me one time today, and I'm not gonna forget this you whole bad takes. Bad takes. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you is like the clanking of the bottles. Like, there's just a story there. You if know? I in my mind, I work with you to love me. Zagari can take a fucking hike. Bullshit, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't even want to play anymore. It's not a game. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> All right, we got the heart part five versus Compton. Go fund me accounts to proceed. A brand new victim of shatter those dreams. The culture. Nah. A Marvin Gaye yeah. sample. Uh, As I want you to want me to. Incredible. Perfected by niggas that manifested music to live in. Compton, Compton, ain't no I think that walks here. I don't know, actually. God, that Marvin sample's good. The heart. Oy, oh, boy. I really love the presentation of the heart part five, and it's much fresher in my mind. And the impact of the video was incredible. But I think Compton's a better song. I'm going to go with Compton. Yeah. It's tough, though. That one is tough. The heart part five might even be a better song. I just think Compton is like more iconic. Yeah. Like, that's a weird one, though. I could understand either either take on that one. I don't do it for love. I do it for Swanton. 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 <laughs> Ain't no city, city quite, quite like mine. mine. Let's go, Bulldogs. Let's go, Bulldogs. Dogs. Come on, give it up. Swanton High School football rules. I bleed purple and gray. Is yes. it gray? Yes, yeah, sir. I bleed purple and gray. Next, we got swimming pools versus feel. This one's easy for me, but let's uh, let's rock them. Why you babysitting only two or three shots? I'm gonna show you how to turn it up a notch. Ultimate irony. Yeah. This played at parties. Yeah. Constantly. And it is a song about like. Don't. It's like anti. It's yeah. like saying, don't do that. Yeah. But that's the beauty of Kendrick is like he can make an anthem. People act out the irony that he wrote in. That's true. And that's beautiful. Because I literally would take swimming pools, fill them with liquor and dive in. You never did that. You could I, never afford that. <laughs> I mean, a Casamigos slip and slide in college. Nope. Me and did. my boys did it. Be like. 30 grand, dude. There's no fucking way you No, yeah, we did that. No. Uh-huh. Quit. 
with the lies. We had an above ground pool. We filled it to the brim with Malibu. With Malibu. And then we did a cannonball. We yelled cowabunga and we jumped into the pool. So you didn't even drink it. it. We did drink it. Once we got in there. Right? <laughs> you didn't like, do that. You was, didn't do it. That was a wasted as hell. No, we didn't. No, it was we so wasn't. sick. I love being drunk. None of this happened. I love drinking. Don't add this to the lore. Never happened. Don't believe it. See. <laughs> Ain't nobody praying for me. Ain't nobody praying for me. I love it, and I, that's maybe one of my most quoted Kendrick songs. I yeah. always say that, because rest in peace to both my grandmothers as there well. You know. Rest in peace. Um, but it is swimming pools. I'm not gonna put up a stupid fight and have Grant piss down my leg again, so <laughs> swimming pools is fine. It can win here. Feels like very nocturnal, and it's yeah. cool, but it's just one of the more low-key moments yeah. on Damn, so it just doesn't stand up to like I agree. swimming pools. You know? Now we got the recipe versus fear. <laughs> Great sample. Shout out to Mr. Twin Sister. Yeah. Um, legendary sample, bonus track. I like Dr. Dre's performance on that more than I like it on Compton. Yeah. But I don't know. I love that Compton verse. I think I, I don't know. If I can smoke fear away, I roll that motherfucker up. It's fear. Yes. Easily fear. Yep. I'm not even going to get into how I feel about fear until the next round. Yeah. Because that matchup's fuckered. <laughs> It's fuckered? That shit's fuckered. Shit we used to say in the country. I feel like that's, I like that. We should. Fuckered? Yeah, let's make that part of the lexicon. Sure. You guys can say that. That Whatever matchup's knowledge. fuckered. Let us know which matchups were the most fuckered throughout <laughs> this video. All right, we've got United in Grief versus King's Dead. What a weird matchup. King's Dead counts as a Kendrick song. Yeah. That makes sense, I guess, yeah. This is post to caption. Pray none of my enemies hold me captive. I grieve different. An amazing intro to the album. Uh -huh. the hook, line, and sinkered me. Fuckered me up. <laughs> First time I heard it. Miss me with that bullshit. bullshit. You ain't really wild, you a tourist. La -dee -da -dee -da. You know what my favorite part of this song is that I feel like I slept on? Red light, green light, red light, green light, <laughs> red light, green light. A really good song. Didn't have massive staying power with me. I listened to it a lot right as it came out. Mm. Video really took my eyeballs by the... Horns. That crazy zoom. Crazy video. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like a Kendrick song to me. It feels like a movie song that Future's on and Kendrick's there. I don't know. It does have a lot of iconic moments because like I said, you know, it does have Future. Mm -hmm. da -da -da, slow on me now. And then it has Kendrick doing red light, green light, red light, green light. And then it has J-Rock doing my team go hold up, my name go hold up, my team go hold up, my name go hold up, my yeah. team go hold up, my name go hold up. There's so much repetition sure. here that just felt like this crazy melding of things yeah. where I do love this song and I do think that I will listen to King's Dead more as an individual song, but United in Grief is a better song. Yeah, so I agree. That's where it's tough for me. Yeah, it's United in Grief for me. Okay. You can disagree with me if you'd like. You won't like what I'm going to have to do about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> simply will not like it. Let's go United in Grief then, because I'm Good. scared. Of what you, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. Last one. Untitled 3 versus King Kunta. Worried about your career, you have a think of your health. What did the idiot say? A piece of land. That's a piece of pussy. This had the legendary Colbert rapport performance on the last week of the Colbert show mm -hmm. and people thought that it was the lead single for To Pimp a Butterfly and I replayed that performance hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. I have listened I've seen that more than I've listened to this version of it. I feel like the recorded version lost some of the magic of that of that performance. Or you just fell in love with the performance. That's true. Maybe that you're is emotionally it. attached to it. But I think other people have that same problem. I, I think so. This, this recording just doesn't capture the same thing. I love this recording. Bitch, where you and I was walking. Now I run a game, got the whole world talking. King Kunta, everybody wanna cut the- A weird one for me. I, it's got a great bounce, mm -hmm. great rhythm. It is an awesome song, but like it's low on my list of Kendrick songs. See, to me, the rhythm of this one is what holds it back for me. It feels a little like goofy mm -hmm. and it's like harder to get into. But then the second half of the song where it works in all these other production elements where like it has that kind of like Eminem thing. Yeah. It's like, meow, 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 meow. and then he's rapping like the way he raps on the back half of that song. I love it. Yeah. But I do think I'm going to go with Untitled 3 here. Whew, thank God. That's where I wanted to go. Yeah. You would not have liked what I had to do. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just <laughs> saying that. Okay. All right. Let us know which Kendrick songs we left off this. I feel like we got most of them. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's going to be ones people are pissed about. So let us know down in the comments what got left off. That's the whole first round. Let's get, get into pissed. the second round now. We've got All Right versus We Cry Together. All Right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of an easy matchup there. We yeah. Cry Together is an incredible feat and an awesome narrative, but all right is a... Makes me want to do donuts in the whip. 
We gonna be all right. All right, we got Rigor Mortis versus Father Time. This is one of those difficult ones. Yeah. I think it's Rigor Mortis. I think so too. Yeah, Rigor Mortis is just like legendary. Yeah. Super focused. I love that song. Yeah. And for me, it's one of my favorite words. It's like this. Rigor Morbius. <laughs> you are so fucking based, bro. I am sorry for everybody watching this, not this week. Rig and, Mor Rig and Morty. Rig, Rig and Morty, okay. <laughs> I like that. That seems more timeless. I love that. <laughs> Morty. Oh, geez, Rick. That might be the best Kendrick song. Yeah, hey, shut up, Lois. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whose leg do I gotta hump to get a dry martini around here? That doesn't sound like Brian. Whose leg do I gotta <laughs> hump to get a dry <laughs> martini around here? What's up, sugar? <laughs> ready for more Kendrick. <laughs> hey, I'm Bart Simpson and I love Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> He's grown up. He's grown up. That's what he sounds Eat like. Eat my shorts. Hello, my name is Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Got a blast. Zoink, Scooby. <laughs> All right, uh, DNA versus Mama. Mama. Yeah, I'm going Mama on this one for sure. Mm -hmm. Now we got XXX versus Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. This is XXX for me, clearly. The U2, I even like U2 on this song. Bono is a great philanthropist. That is what I will say. Yeah. But for me, it's Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. The sound of drum and, and bass. Uh, Grant? Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. All You're right. Back on my fucking good side. Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst versus Hood Politics. Okay, on the surface, insanely hard matchup. Very, two very good songs. I don't think this is hard. Sing about me. Yeah, it's sing about me. Okay, we got a To Pimp a Butterfly matchup for free versus the Black or the Berry. This is the Black or the Berry for me. Yeah, I picked against it in the last round. I know I, you did, yeah. So that's, I guess, why I'm gritting my uh, grits um, here. I'm gritting my grits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to agree with you, though. That's okay. fine. Yeah. yeah. Duckworth versus Backseat Freestyle. <laughs> Shit. Whoa, whoa. I, yeah, I, for me, it's Duckworth. Like in this current state of mind that I'm in. It's so weird that because before you said Duckworth was like your least favorite on Damn. On Damn, yeah. You're, which is my favorite album. Though. Your least favorite on Damn is better than Backseat Freestyle? No, 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 no. See, that's no, insane. No, 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 no. You think every song on Damn is better than Backseat Freestyle. <laughs> when you put it like that, that it's pretty is crazy. In <laughs> wild claim. Yeah. Well, you have nine favorite songs on section 80, so <laughs> it's Duckworth. I like it better in this current state of mind. I'm sorry if it's fucked up. Disagree with me. Jeez, man. Oh, man. I wish my dick was as big as the Eiffel Tower so I could fuck the world for 72 hours. God damn, I feel amazing. I think Maxi Freestyle is better. Okay, Grant's gonna agree with you, so just I, move it over. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, move it over. I actually, I don't know. That, that I'm starting to feel like maybe it's Duckworth. I, I tried to tell you, so I hope you sleep. I hope I hope you can't sleep at night. Okay. And when you think about me, you dream of me at night. Mad City versus These Walls. This is Mad City for me. This is These Walls for me. What? A lot of people say this is the best Kendrick song. Money Trees is my favorite off that album. Yeah. I think it's Mad City, yeah. Uh... That's fine. I'm done with my emotions involved. So what? really, that's not like you guys don't bother me anymore. So what were you going to do? You said if somebody disagreed with you, you're you gonna... wouldn't want to know. Well, it's happened, so. I'm going to do it. What the fuck was Did that? Did you just break your ankle? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to swap the fuck out of you. Money Trees versus N95. Money Trees! <laughs> oh my god, chaotic energy, I agree, obviously. All right, now how much a dollar costs versus Humble. This is how much a dollar costs for me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Humble is whatever. I versus Element. <laughs> element. Yeah, it's Element. Yeah. I is like fine. I'm rooting for I in the yeah. public discourse because I know that people don't like that song yeah. and I do and I think it's a great song, but it's not better than Element. Nope. The other day I was at the grocery store getting some food and liquor and I slipped on a banana peel and my hair piece fell off. Call it a toupee fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> Only real like rap heads will get that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. Get him, cat boy. Get him. All right, we got another T-Pad matchup. It is Wesley's Theory versus You Ain't Gotta Lie. Wesley's Theory. Yeah. Wesley's Theory handedly wins that one. Is that a stranger? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Should we feeling. have the, okay. them weigh in on the next decision? Sure. Hello, family. Hello. Hey, what's up? Um, tell Riley I love him. Yeah, um, he's right next to I'm me. I'm right here. We're filming a video. Yo, dead ass. Dead ass. Yeah, wait, do you want to help us? You want to help us? Dead ass, am I in the video? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Y'all sound way different over the phone. Oh, I'm sorry! Jesus, okay. dude. Hey. Come on. Calm hey. down. Yeah, what's your... You need to calm 
calm down. You, calm down. You, you we're in the we're in the filming mode. Insult. We just called us in the okay, middle I'm of I'm work. I'm, 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 I'm currently watching. Yes, the song from the Genius Lyric annotation. I'm in 18 and 28 seconds. Right All right. Now. Well, we're filming the Kendrick bracket right now. Do you want to help with the next matchup? Okay. okay. What's, wait, what's your name? Cam. Cam. Yo. Okay. Cam, okay. Uh, we've got ADHD versus the art of peer pressure. What? What? Yeah, which one wins there? The art of peer pressure. Okay. Okay, I think so too. Yeah, I think so too, Cam. No. Yeah. Kendrick's no. or yep. Kendrick's Grant's, upset you. Grant's no. mad. Grant's really mad at you. Grant, what's wrong? What, why is Grant upset? Grant has a lot of personal things going on in his life right ADHD now. ADHD is Grant. Grant. Grant our final it's four. It's gonna be all right, bro. He said it's gonna be all right. Cam, hey, thank you for helping us out. Enjoy the rest of the video. You're in for a treat because uh, Graydon sings American Pie by Don McLean in full. Oh, all right. I'm beside you. I'm beside you. All right, cool. Go all get right. some. Get Don't forget to get some money today. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I'm going to chase the bag. You know what I mean? I wake up with my mother every day today to chase the bag. Bro. You're here. <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I have barely agreed with you at all this video. Okay. <laughs> We've got you versus Compton. Ooh. Yeah, this one's tough. This one is no, it's it's you for me. You is just Kendrick stepping into something that is so weird for him and like executing on a high level. Compton is just like a, it's an okay song for me on Good Kid, City. Can it be Compton? Jeez, one dollar. Do you have another dollar? <laughs> Do you have a third dollar? Just a third one. That's and then I'm good. All right. Compton. All right, it's Compton. <laughs> Compton. <laughs> it right like mine. <laughs> Swimming pools versus fear. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> this side of the bracket's all these dance moves. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's fear. Fear yeah. is. I know. Yep. I know. I'm still gonna save it. I'm gonna save my serious thoughts because it's gonna keep on marching. <laughs> I like Swimming Pools more, but I understand that Fear is a better song. So I'm just gonna go with Fear to avoid this whole situation. All right, we got United in Grief versus Untitled 3. I'm thinking Untitled 3. I don't know. <sighs> this matchup doesn't even matter. Yeah, it Because you're not gonna let pe anything beat Fear. Neither of these songs are gonna shut beat Fear Shut the fuck anyway. up. It's not facing Fear in the next round. Yes, it is. I mean, don't shut up. You're such a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I Listen, I'm gonna... I thought about it. I'm gonna go with United in Grief here, okay? Because I think that the recorded version of Untitled Three doesn't isn't as magical as that performance. Yeah. And United in Grief, I think, gets slept on. Yeah. For no. For how sure. How winding it is. It hasn't been out long enough to get slept on. So. Okay. Grant. I agree with Riley. Okay. United in Grief moves on. Next round, we've got All Right versus Rigor Mortis, and this is where we go with All Right. Yes, it is. Yeah, Rigor Mortis is a very good song, but All Right is a Lifetime banger. Yes. A classic. Now we've got Mama versus Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. Here, I'm kind of feeling Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. Mama is not like my favorite off of Tomb Butterfly no. by any means. So no, I agree. Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst versus The Black or the Berry. I'm not going to shake your hand on this one. No? This is where I have the controversial opinion that The Black or the Berry is a better song. Ah! <laughs> the Black or the Berry is top three on to Pimp a Butterfly, but is so impactful. Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst, I love so much. These are two of the best Kendrick songs of all time, in my yes. opinion. I'm just gonna go with the Black of the Berry for if that's my opinion. Well, we're knotted up. All right, Grant. Sing About Me. Yeah. I figured that's where it was gonna go. I just wanted to speak my piece, okay. you know? Ooh, that does feel good. Backseat Freestyle versus Mad City. Wow. Mm. This is Mad City for yeah, me. Yeah, it I is Mad for me. Mad City's just a better song. Yeah. But this is a, this is a matchup. So let's get to the other side. We're getting, to, we're finishing out this elite eight here. We've got money trees versus how much dollar cost? Money trees. Money trees. Wow, it's getting heavily good kid Matt yeah. City in in this section. Element versus Wesley's theory. Oh, I think no. we disagree here. It's Element for me. Yeah, I think it's Wesley's theory. Where's your heart lead you, Grant? My heart's in Element. Oh, I don't know though. I'm really that's 50-50. The old guy on the couch says it's 50-50 for him. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna command Z and let you think about it a little more. We let the fans decide. We can't. Call the call cam back. <laughs> call cam back. Should we? Yeah, should we call should him call, back. Call him back. He's like, what? They're calling. Your call has been cam. Come on, cam. You gotta answer. Oh shit. Hey, Cam. Hey, Cam. What's up? <laughs> Yo, I tested you, Graydon. 
<laughs> you what? I tested your ID. We, we're not checking that during the video. Yeah, we need help okay. again, bro. Okay, okay, what's up, what's up, what's up? Element or Wesley's theory? Fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm like, saying. I, I might go Wesley's theory. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's unpopular opinion. I feel like. All right, thanks. We needed a tiebreaker, Cam. Really appreciate you. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cam decided. Now we got the Art of Peer Pressure versus Compton. This is easy. Art of Peer Pressure. Art of Peer Pressure, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It is an art, too. One lucky night with the homies. Drink. That's not very artful, you're just saying what to do. Drinking. Okay, well that's at least makes it sound fun. Yeah. You and me drinking. Okay, I like, I like the sound of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Huh. Smoke crack. Fine. Smoke it. <laughs> cool. Now we got fear versus united in grief, which we are going to talk about at length uh, because this is a tough decision. Obviously. Fear, 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 fear. Yeah, it's fear. Elite eight, we've got all right, bitch don't kill my vibe, sing about me, I'm dying of thirst, mad city, money trees, Wesley's theory, the art of peer pressure, and fear. Good crop. Look at that crop. Who's your carved beef? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Who's your carved beef? We goose him a little bit. <laughs> all right versus bitch don't kill my vibe. All right. Yeah, I think it is all right narrowly. Narrowly. Sing about me, I'm dying of thirst versus Mad City. Sing about me. Yeah. I don't know, no, actually no. It's Mad City for me, but I feel like Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst is a better song, but I'd rather listen to Mad City every time. Yuck, 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 yuck. If you did that during Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst, <laughs> think if he was like, promise that you will, yuck, 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 sing, yuck, yuck about me. You're an insensitive worm. I'm an insensitive worm? You want him to yuck, yuck, yuck on Sing About Me? It would be cool to no. make it go hard in the paint. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, where do you fall on this one? I'm going to go with Sing About Me. Okay. okay. That feels in my soul better. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. I even, I had chosen Mad City and kind of was like, is it's probably Sing About Me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It just feels like a better song, mm -hmm. but that's just how it is. Money Trees versus Wesley's Theory. It's Money Trees for me. Yeah, it's Wesley's Theory for me. Oh my god. Wesley's Theory is like probably my front runner all together. I think it's the best one, but I get it. Okay. Wesley's Theory. Wesley's Theory. Yeah. All right. That one really cuts though. Yeah. Yeah. Like really cuts because Money Trees is so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Art of Peer Pressure versus Fear. I already know. Like, I understand. Do you want to speak your piece about fear? Fear's my favorite Kendrick song of all time. I don't know. He does something in that song that I feel like exemplifies his whole attitude for the album and like gets across some really heavy emotions. And it struck me at a point in my life where I like truly needed a song like that. And it's still a big part of my life to this day. While it is art of peer pressure for me, I'm going to go with fear because I think that that's important that that moves forward. That's a big man move on your part. <laughs> Fear goes on. We've got our final four here, folks. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let us know how much you disagree with us down in the comments. We've got All Right, Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst, Wesley's Theory, and Fear. This is a tough final four. It's All Right versus Sing About Me. Here, I'm going with Sing About Me. I am too. Yeah, Sing About Me is just, it's more sprawling, more important. Kendrick showing that he is unlike anybody else. Yep. Now, we've got our two favorites against each other. Only one of them moves on to the final. Yeah. Wesley's Theory versus Fear. I've got Wesley's Theory. I got Fear. Yeah. Pipe I think that's, that's clear if you've watched the rest of the video. <laughs> Pipe up, Grant. I think Wesley's Theory beats Fear. Okay. Personally. You're our tiebreaker and I respect you as a man. You, you gotta respect know. me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really doing my best over here, man. That's all I'm gonna say is I'm just doing my best. All right, Wesley's Ooh. theory in the final. All right. I think that's gonna shock a lot of people, honestly. Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst versus Wesley's Theory. Wow. Sound off in the chat. I'm sure that you all have a different song that you wish yeah. was here. You guys are all saying a different song. Where's King Gunta? <laughs> Nobody's saying that. <laughs> the Kendrick fan who thinks King Kunta is the best. best song ever. Kendrick fan who thinks Crown is the best one. Kendrick fan who thinks All the Stars is the best Kendrick song. <laughs> That's a SZA song. It's a SZA song, yeah. but Kendrick's on it. Yeah. Do you have a Kendrick feature that feels like a Kendrick song that you wish could be in this? Because yes. I do. I have one. Nostalgia. Push a T. Mine's Pineapple Now and Laters. Oh. BJ Chicago Kid. Yeah. I feel like it was pretty much a predecessor to Sing About Me. Yeah. In a lot of ways. It has that storytelling and yeah. like, you know, going through, it's like a, it's like a memorial to someone else. Mm -hmm. I love that song so much. Yeah. And Nostalgia, I know, has gotten a lot of hype over that, that video that somebody made breaking oh, down yeah. the kind of the math of that verse and mm -hmm. how crazy that is. 
But even before that, yeah. I mean, I'm a big Pusha T fan. People who watch our channel know that. But like the way he enters that, you want to see a dead body? Mm -hmm. Like that is wild. Yep. For me, it is Wesley's Theory. I said that's my favorite Kendrick song, so I'm sticking to that. But I, you know, I get it. I get that that's not the popular opinion. Yeah. Here. Um, it's, it's close, especially after re-listening to Wesley's Theory today, the arrangement, the instrumentation, just, it's an orchestra. Yeah. It's amazing feat of musicality and Sing About Me is a little more straightforward. Yeah. But it is like, like we've said, this magnum opus of Kendrick's storytelling and just ability to speak to the listener. Yeah. And get something across that is, makes you feel so emotional. Yeah. It's Sing About Me. I'm going to go with Wesley's Theory and the, so here we are letting Grant decide. Grant, who wins your bracket? Sing about me wins the bracket. Okay. Yeah. I'm 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 happy with that. Yeah, I have I no qualms. Sing about me. I'm dying of thirst. Best Kendrick Lamar song right here. Right after fear. <laughs> <laughs> that is our Kendrick Lamar song bracket. Thanks for playing along with us. Let us know what bracket you want us to do next. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff at the beginning. We got tickets for our show down in the description along with our Patreon link. That really helps out. Please join our Patreon. We'll be posting extras on there. Great, 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 great. And you want to leave these wonderful people some advice to leave or live their lives by? I guess I don't got much on my mind today. Okay. The grass may always be greener on the other side, but sometimes it's good to get down and dirty. All right, this has been High Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we will see you in the next one. So, so cold. So cold. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's so hot. cold in here. It's hot, buddy. Are you dying again? <laughs> again. Give me those things. What are you doing? Ding, do, 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 do. Ha ha. Check it out, I'm like a fighter pilot. I can't even see what you're doing. He's using my thumbs as joysticks. Oh, bank right. I like to move it. <laughs> there you go. I like to move it, move it. Is that in this bracket? Time to make it dance, time to make it last. Yeah. yeah. I got all this glass, I got all these chains. What? I got on, yeah, I'm sure it's on. Hey, Texas Chainsaw might take off your face. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, you're, you're, I'm just playing into your bit. The Texas Chainsaw thing. Yeah, you didn't look scared, though. That's more like a roller coaster scream. I want you to, like. No, there you go. No, That's no, better. No, That's good. Bad? Yeah. What? I'll rip your cock off your body, you fucking scoundrel. What the hell?